Hey guys! So we're here to do some night wish on Sunday, Sunday night wish, Sunday I wish. Like, I feel like we're uh, Sunday wish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sunday wish. Uh, I wish I had an angel. That's it. I feel like we're gonna run out of night wish songs. So never, never, never. Because first of all, they had three sing singers, right? Yeah. They had Taria, Annette, and now Floor. So we can technically do one song with all three. Yeah, but what happens if... So, that's a lot of songs right there. But what happens if uh, Winterson puts out an album? Uh, here we go with this Winterson conversation again. Hey, this is... Don't you have a stress ball? You have a time two stress ball, don't you? I mean, it's, All right. it's almost depleted. So, just keep just keep squeezing that thing, and then when the album comes out, we'll talk about it. I, I talked to Yuka I mean, when he album, was here, and he said to me that there's a chance that his kids will be putting out time two. Yeah. So, uh, let's not hold our breath for that. Uh, anyways, we're here to do Sleeping Sun, Night Wish from End of an Era concert. By the way, Nuclear Blast is re-releasing this concert, the DVD of the concert. They're re-releasing the audio, uh, like CDs and vinyls, and then they're also doing like the DVD package, I believe. Which, the moment I found out about it, I got the press release. I sent them an email back saying, by the way, guys, guys, I, I don't mean to impose or anything, yeah. but do you guys have any DVD copies like laying around the office that you're using for, as a coaster yeah. for your beverages, for your cold beers? Because they're in, in Germany, so I'm assuming they're drinking beer in the office. For your Heinekens and your, and your I don't know, whatever else they drink in Germany. I, I don't even know German beer. They say Das Auto, but they can't drink Das <laughs> how, do, how the hell do you drink a Das Auto? I hope they don't drink while Das Autoing around yeah. because... That, that, you know, like drinking That's driving right. is not is not cool. It's not cool at all. Anyway, so I said that to them, to which they said, no, we don't have any promo material because this is not a new album. This is just a re-release, so we don't have any promo material. To which I reply with, <sighs> sad face. Sad face. Guess I gotta wait until it's... No, that, that means I actually have to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you that don't know me, I'm, I'm, I'm thrifty. You are. I'm very thrifty. You are. I'm very thrifty. I mean, I mean, we're, you're still gonna buy it. Yes, but but begrudging. I, I, I'm gonna begrudging everything along the way to the moment I press PayPal confirm on the purchase. But it is what it is. Like I said, I'm very thrifty. All right. So, Sleeping Sun, Night Wish, End of an Era. Are you ready? We yeah. haven't done anything from End of an Era in a long time, by yeah. the way. So I'm really excited to check this out. Let's do this.
Yes, Pitos. Pitos. Would have been funny if she said, Berkeley! I just step on some shit. But she didn't do that. No. No, that would have been hilarious though. That would have been. <laughs> but the Kitos works just fine. Yeah. Kitos. Anyways, that was one of the first Finnish words I learned, by the way. Yeah. Kitos. Yeah. I know, it was uh, Kaxkasia. Oh, yeah. That's true. I learned that one before. Uh, <laughs> but that's not one word, that's two words. That's two words. Yeah, so if you look at the one word it's with Kax. Let's stay with the Kitos. Let's stay with Kitos. Kitos. Yeah. All right, so. What, what do you have to say about... By the way, before you say whatever it is that you're going to say, which is probably some rambling of a, of a teenage... Uh, of a teenager uh, losing his mind over uh, over an incredible performance, did you notice that uh, the keyboard stand right at the front, it had um, Captain Jack Sparrow on no. it? It had a doll of Captain Jack Sparrow attached to the keyboard stand at the front. You go. We go back at the end of this. We'll go back. I'll show you the the keyboard, n not the one that's like tilted on the side. No, because I want He just uh, yeah. That one is tilted on the side. The one facing the audience. It has a doll of Jack Sparrow on it. I noticed. All right. Anyways, now that I got that out I of the way. I was too captivated in the performance. Holy crap, man! I I got a couple of things to say about it this. It wasn't like the normal night which we do usually. Usually, it's like you know. This one was more like. Just, just like sinking into your chair. I I absolutely love this song. I love the song. Did they and I play love this from your? Because I don't no. I don't have a good memory. They didn't I, I don't think this. so. I don't think so. I don't think they did. I can't remember. I don't have a good memory either. I would have to go. I mean, that was what I mean, back in April. I can't, I can't remember what I ate yesterday. So I don't. You're trying to remember. make me remember what I what was played in a concert in March. I don't remember March, April, whatever. Anyways, I really enjoy this performance. Uh, two things I, I take away from this performance. I'm gonna start with one. Uh, which is the guitar solo, all right? I like the solo because the solo incorporated, first of all, the solo was short, but it incorporated the melody, uh, uh, the, the riff that the song has. Yeah. So when the solo starts, it's pretty much uh, an enhanced play of the guitar riff. It's just like turning to 11. Just... Yeah, so you got that. So to me, that solo is really important because it didn't go... It didn't get like over the top. It didn't get super elaborate. It just continued the same riff and the same melody that the song had. It just went into into the solo with that, and then he just gave it a little twist at the end. But it, it was pretty much the solo is pretty much just a guitar riff, the guitar yeah. melody riff, that sound. So that to me, I, I really enjoyed that because th this song has such a beautiful melody throughout. Just beautiful melody, like the whole song is just absolutely incredible, and her voice is just. I mean. It's the kind of voice that makes angels cry. You know, never mind doves cry. Because angels. Prince used to make doves cry. Uh, she can make angels cry, for God's sakes. Th th this, this song, so beautiful. So beautiful. Like, just so angelic, so beautiful. Uh, there, there's, I mean, there's barely words to describe. Just I, I I was like shit. I don't have a lighter. I don't the, the flash whole phone. Plate. Yeah, I don't like that. I, I'm, I'm I, not gonna I'm not gonna buy a lighter just to do like I don't smoke. I know, but see, but I'm I grew up in the, in the age before cell phones where everybody you did know. smoke and everybody would use the lighters at the concerts. I always thought that was so cool. And now you don't get that anymore. You get like people just using the lights of the cell phones. Like that tells you how we've come along. As, as a society. I still like to see the lighters. It just adds yeah. it, it adds a different vibe to it. it uh, to me, it's much cooler, I find. Much cooler. And this song is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful song. The, this this concert, we we're, we're watching this concert on a piece by piece. It's almost like lay away. Yeah. You know, like every time we can afford one song, we listen to one song at a time. But when they re-release the DVD, uh, when Nuclear Blast re-released the DVD, I definitely want to pick it up because I want to sit down and watch the concert from the beginning to the end, you know, and, and, and get fully merged into the experience that it is listening to this band live and, and going through song one to the last song of the show because it's incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. It's, just... it's hard to describe, oh. but it really is. This song is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Her voice is beautiful. All right, guys, this is it for today for this Night Wish Sunday. Come back tomorrow. We'll have uh, more videos. Yeah. Tomorrow's Monday, so it's a double header. I don't know what country tomorrow. Or uh, I have slowly no traveling around the world. I think tomorrow it's either Russia or Ukraine because we've never done 
either one of those countries on a Monday doubleheader. So it's either going to be two bands from Russia or two bands from Ukraine tomorrow. Whatever we do tomorrow, then the week after will be the other. Yeah. So if we go two bands from Ukraine, there will be two bands from Russia the week after. All right, guys, this is it for us. Come back tomorrow for more videos. See you guys. See ya.